Hey everyone, it's Victoria with Nutrition by Victoria and in this video I'm going to go over my most recent lab results from blood work I had done about two months ago. So let's get right into it. I had a CBC done, which is a complete blood count. These are my results. Uh, basically tests for immune function factors as well as hematocrit, hemoglobin, red blood cell count, white blood cell count, and some other things on there. And I also had a thyroid test done. It's there at the bottom. Uh, they tested for my TSH level, which is normal. And all of my results were normal. So I didn't have anything um, out of range indicating that I'm completely healthy. And I've been following a high carb, low fat, plant based vegan diet for the past three years. So that's what's pretty significant about my. Uh, lab results. A lot of people think that vegans are deficient or unhealthy in some kind of a way, but I have lab results to prove that what I've been doing over the past three years is working and is um, having a positive impact on my health. So something that I want to discuss briefly about my blood work in particular is um, what because I'm pregnant right now, they're specifically looking to see if um, my iron level is sufficient within my body. And the test that they use in order to, to, to determine that is the hematocrit test, as well as the hemoglobin test, and the red blood cell count. So all of my readings were normal, indicating that my iron status within my body is adequate. And what's ironic is that I've Again, I've been following a high carb, low fat, plant based vegan diet for the past three years. But when I was younger and consuming animal products, I was constantly registering anemic or iron deficiency anemia, where my iron levels within my body were low enough to affect my hematocrit and my hemoglobin levels. So those tests were always registering lower than normal or borderline low. Uh, so. What is um, iron? Iron is a mineral that we need within our body that is used to make hemoglobin. And hemoglobin is the part of the red blood cell that carries oxygen. So it plays a major role within the body. So that's why it's important for you to have enough iron within your system so that you're able to carry out all of those uh, oxygen demands that your blood requires and you're able to function uh, efficiently and be healthy. So I just want to talk a little bit about why I think that my iron status is better now than it was back when I was consuming animal products. And the main reasoning for that is, one, uh, my digestive function has improved immensely. I used to suffer from irritable bowel syndrome or IBS and while I still will have some symptoms of IBS, very um, occasionally, I used to be a, have chronic pain. And that was definitely affecting the way my body was able to absorb nutrients from my food. So that would be number one. Uh, changing over to a high carb, low fat, plant-based vegan diet has allowed my digestive system to heal and to maximize its functioning. So I definitely feel like I'm able to absorb and assimilate and properly digest the nutrients that I'm receiving from my food. It's much easier for my body to do that than to battle through something as dense as animal protein and fat uh, to get my nutrients. Something else I want to mention is that um, I believe that I'm able to actually better absorb the iron from the plant foods that I'm eating. And the main reasoning for that is the majority of plant foods that I consume also that contain iron also contain vitamin C. So vitamin C greatly enhances the absorption of non-hemi iron, which is the type of iron that's found in plant-based foods. And vitamin C um, greatly enhances its absorption by about six times. So that's about equivalent or even greater than what the iron that's available in hemi iron, which is the type of iron that's found predominantly in animal products. So I definitely feel like because I've cut animal products out, my digestive function is a lot better. And since I'm consuming iron-based foods with vitamin C, 
I'm able to better absorb the non-hemi iron. Something else I want to mention as well is that um, I also don't consume foods that inhibit non-hemi iron absorption. And those include mainly phytic acid containing foods like legumes, beans, whole grains, brown rice. Um, I don't eat a lot of those. Most of my diet is fruits and vegetables as well as white rice over brown rice. And those foods I've found for myself in particular to be the easiest to digest and I'm also um, so I feel the best on them and I don't desire any beans and legumes and things like that and now that I know that phytic acid can inhibit iron absorption I have even more reason to stay away from those foods if any of you are wondering about whether or not I'm getting enough protein I am as long as I'm consuming enough uh, calories on a daily basis I'm able to meet my protein requirements and I'll do another video about protein getting into more detail uh, as to where protein comes from and what it is etc so I hope you found this video um, informational interesting helpful hopefully it debunked any myths that you or or thoughts you might have been having about vegans not being healthy or deficient in any kind of way I can tell you that I feel the best I've ever felt on a vegan diet specifically a calorie sufficient high carb low fat plant-based vegan diet that's centered around fruits and vegetables my digestive function has improved immensely I have lots of energy and I'm going forward through my pregnancy in a very healthy positive way so Please give this video a like if you found it helpful. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and have a great day. Bye.